All right, just got in the brand new Resurrection Auto Cocker, and let's unbox it and take a look. First thing when you open it, got the uh, CD manual, meh. And you got quick start manual, see what's all in it. Warnings, barrel installation, the safety. Ooh, to determine correct bore size. Let's see, so uh, place the place a ball into the end of the barrel back, tip the barrel back if the ball rolls through without any outside force, switch to a smaller barrel back, um, and if the ball barely fits into the barrel back and you can't blow it out easily, switch to a larger barrel back. Yeah. Alright, main thing I was looking for is see if it talked anything about timing, and it doesn't. So. Okay, and there we are, the magic right there, so the beautiful gun, let's take a look, alright, so let's see. Alright, this is interesting. Safety is kind of stuck. And bolt is kind of jammed forward. Let's see. Any particular reason why? Hmm. This is interesting. So straight out of the box, I can't figure out how to uh, shoot it. <laughs> okay, so figured it out finally. Um, uh, something had gotten hung up in there with the safety, but anyways, cocked, fire. Okay, so we're all good now. I don't quite know exactly, but once I lift off the grip frame, it popped back into place. So I'm not quite sure what happened, but eh, oh well. Seems to be fine now. Anywho, so uh, kind of just first things I'm noticing. It seems pretty well milled. Um, it's a little uneven in a couple of places, matching up like the front block with the body. Um, nothing terrible, it's not like it looks bad, it just, it's two separate pieces of metal milled to fit together and look nicely. It's fine. Uh, has that same palm swell from the sniper. This is kind of cool. Um, the sled here, they actually cut it to fit with the milling of the gun, that's kind of cool. The trigger has this really, really snappy feel to it. I guess that's what they were talking about to try and uh, help keep people from short stroking it. But it's very definite kind of snap back, snap forward to it. That's kind of interesting. It doesn't feel bad. Um, and compared to my Hold the uh, black magic here, and okay, between the two, size comparison. Uh, let's line up bottom of the grip frames. Quite a bit of difference there. Line up the body. Line up the body even, and yeah, quite a bit of difference. That's cool. Set that aside. Um, it's got that nice on off. I 
All right, and kind of compare it. We have Sniper here. And as far as similarities go between the two, and the same palm swell, same ASA. I'm sure it's the same regulator on the inside. Um, let's see. I'm kind of wondering if I can put this grip frame on this one. Mm, uh, yeah, I'll see. <laughs> I did notice that, so the sniper has that gauge there. The regular cocker does not. So that's kind of nice. You can get a decent grip on there. And uh, this trigger shoe is kind of cool. It's actually using a trigger shoe. Uh, I had to pull that off to get at this screw when the trigger was stuck forward. Um, the trigger is actually milled uh, with a slot for those two screws for the shoe to fit in. Um, that's kind of nice instead of just a flat surface that those set screws are going into, there's a little channel in there. And it's using that the same ASA mounting. And so as far as the two go, I'm, they, they're very similar, very similar. There's a little extra milling in the cocker. And really, yeah, they're, well, they're two cockers. <laughs> they should be pretty similar. All right, so let's take a look at some of the other stuff. It does come with a toolkit that I just used. So, and it's a decent one. They're not the little uh, ball heads on them, but oh well, they still work. Let's see. That's the bag for those. Barrel sleeve. All right. Now we get into the barrel kit. Now the sniper came with uh, three backs to it, and looks like this one. Yep, six seven five, six eight zero, oh, six eight five. So those are the three that the sniper came with. Uh, this also has two extras, so it has the six nine zero oh, and the I don't know when you would ever use this anymore 695 so really this bore is gonna sit wherever your gear bag in the box whatever it's kind of a pointless bore there's not much four parts kits um, for this thing uh, you get a chunk of macro line uh, you get uh, one of the airlines for the pneumatics, some o-rings, a spare set of detents, all kind of pretty basic what you'd expect from some you. So nothing really spectacular there but it's still nice and I do like these giant parts kits because you can throw extra stuff in there, extra tools, whatever inside of these. All right so that's everything for it. Um, yeah, so, so far my first thoughts are I'm looking forward to shooting it. Alright, so something I just noticed here. Old school marketing for an old school gun, I guess. Sadly. Closed bolt system for extreme accuracy. Yeah.